Welcome back everybody, this is King AKJK from In Game Will We Trust. And today we are going to find all the ancestral tombs here in Vaudenville. All 30 of them. And not only do you find those and get the achievement, which leads to the Savior of Marwan achievement, it's also a, um, I know it's a quest here, the ancestral tombs. And I figure we'll do that quest real fast and find the rest of the tombs together. Alright, might take a little time, but we're going to do it as fast as possible. And we're going to have some fun doing it. Alright, so let me finish this little magic trick here, my little uh, energy balls. Uh, we're going to go and start it. We will find it here in the library. The Vec library. So you come here and you talk to the librarian. I've already started part of the mission already, but we're going to finish it together. He's over here. Excellent. Let's start with a simple one. Head north of Avec and travel to the Orthrellus Ancestral Tomb. Look for a stone plaque near the tomb and take a rubbing of the words inscribed upon it. Return to me with the rubbing and, well, you'll see. What will I see? Alright, I don't need to know anymore about tombs, but we're going to go get that rubbing. Let's get out of here, get out of the library. This one's pretty simple. It's literally right outside of the next city, this tomb. Right, right here. The other ones are a little more complicated. It took me some time to find them all. But I finally did find them all and uh, just took snapshots of them so I know where they were. So they can do the achievement together here. Alright, once you get outside of those pyramids there, they're all up in here. Why don't you go up there and just get on this road here? The road that leads out of town, and just go straight to it. Pretty simple. That's the one thing here in Vaudenville I know. It's not an easy place to um, travel. It gets kind of tedious traveling all over the place like this. I could have went across the water too. Alright, here it is. Take, and of course, read it because you get the, uh, oh. There we are. Oh, you can't read it. Okay. Once I get back up there, I'll, uh, I'll bring you back. Okay, we're back. We're going to talk to the librarian again. I assume you found the tomb without too much trouble. Were you able to take the rubbing as I directed? Absolutely. The model of Vardenfeld progresses nicely, but we still have a long way to go to fill in all the notable landmarks and uncover the location of the lost library of Anduil. Oh, what happens next? This is perfect. Now, prepare yourself. What happens next will be simply amazing. Thanks to magic provided by Lord Vivek, I can use this rubbing to not only record the clue provided by the tomb, I can add a new section to our model of the land. Alright. Let's do it. What happened? Alright, well, there's a new model. There's a new model piece down there, which is pretty cool. Might as well check it out real fast. Okay. This is Vivek City, I'm guessing, definitely. The, the pyramids and all those other things. And there's Red Mountain. Alright, let's see what's next. He's probably just gonna say go out and find their tombs, but uh let's see. The model of Vardenfeld progresses nicely, but we still have a long way to go to fill in all the notable landmarks and uncover the location of the lost library of Andur. I'm volunteering, I guess, here. My research indicates that 30 of our most revered families oh, each 30. left a clue to the location of the Library of Andor. Find the remaining 29 tombs, take rubbings, and before long, our model will be complete and the location revealed. Alright. This is going to take some time, so let's get on with it and try to do it as fast as possible.
Okay, we're here at the, the last ancestral tomb. There's a couple right here around here in this area here. Um, this is here. This is this one. Take the rubbing. Take. All right. Basically, come here to Senya Need Way Shrine and just travel directly, literally directly west. That's that simple. Let's just go that way. Go to, go to the left. It's a pretty simple one to find. I'm literally right here. This marker right here is literally where it is. I'm standing next to it. See? Boom. There. All right. I'll find the next one and we'll be right back. Okay, we're here at the Loran Ancestral Tomb now. It's literally right here where I'm standing. From there, let's go right across. There's a little cut right here to the mountains you can go. Right here. Well, it's not mountains. It's like this little, little valley. You can cut right through there and come over here to the right, to the left. It's pretty simple to get through. It's like as soon as you get one, this one here, let's go right across and come right up in here. And there it is. It's the Lorraine Ancestral Tomb. And let's take rubbings. Make sure, too, you have enough space in your inventory because it's going to count. Each rubbing is going to count as a space in your inventory. So make sure you have at least 30, 30 spots. All right. On to the next. Okay. We're back here at the Serrano Ancestral Tomb. It's right here on the map. Pretty simple again, too. It's a little off the main road, but not a big deal. So there's a main road here. Well, not main road, but a road. It's right here inside this cliff area here. Let's get the rubbing. All right. Here's the next tomb. Her ancestral plaque. We're going to rub it real fast. Take it. And it's right here. Basically, from this way shrine here, let's go all the way up here and you get to the river here and cut to the left. And you got it right there. I'll even show you the main road, even. Right here. So when you get there, just cut across. Come over here. It's against the sea here, so it's got a nice view. Not bad spot they buried. Kind of nice. Alright, on to the next. Alright, here, that's the next one. The next tomb. Thyrana's ancestral plaque. I'm going to rub it. Oops. Wrong button. Alright, take the rubbing. And... Here's right here. Right outside Belmora. In fact, when you get the real close map, is that a little brown mound there. That's exactly where it is, right there. So, I'll show you again is how simple it is. Here's the road, and there's the front gate to Belmora. Very, very, very easy. Alright, on to the next. Okay, we're here at the next one. The Norvania tomb. Still rubbing here. Take it. And here it is. Right here. On the road. Literally on the road. See, there's the road. And here's the tomb. So basically from, from Belmora here. So there's the last one. Just cut right across. Go straight up here. Through the little swampy area. Little marsh. To right here. Very simple spot. Alright. To the next. Okay. Here's the next one here. Uh, your... Urbania, ancestral tomb. Let's take this rubbing here. Collect it. Also, here is a uh, book here. 
Uh, I, I picked up already before, but uh, just to give a heads up, there's a book here next to it. This one's pretty simple to find. You gotta come into this world boss here, the hollow. So stay on that road, come all the way up here, follow it in here, and come on inside here. It's all the way to the back corner here. The back corner, uh, let's see, there's a little hill. So you come up the hill here. So let's follow. You don't have to even, you won't even interfere with him. Just come up the, this side here and go up the hill. And it's right here, all in the back corner. Alright. On to the next. Okay, we got the Talvania Ancestral Tomb Plaque. We're going to rub this and take it. And it's literally right here. So when you leave, I would say follow this road because there's less bad guys. I mean, there's bad guys all through it here between mercenaries and those weird Nyx towns and all that pain in the butt. Just come right through up here and take that road over and cut across right here. It's pretty simple. One. I have surround area here. Right here. Not too bad. And that's it. Alright, on to the next. Okay, here we are at the next one here. The South Bren. Alright, take the rubbing. Now this one's not... It's pretty simple, but it's under an old rock pass. So like, come right out of the way shrine here. Come to the West Gash way shrine. And literally come back here. To the tomb. It's right here. Not too far. This is probably one of the simplest ones we got here. Way shrine, tomb. Literally. Alright. On to the next. Alright, here we are to the next one. Uh, Rathandus Ancestral Tomb. Let's take the rubbing. Rubbings. I kind of sound weird. Rubbing, saying that all the time. Uh, okay, here it is. Come up with this major road here. Take this little side road north. Go right past the boss. Right in this little peninsula right here. Not peninsula, a little outcroping into, into the river there, the bay, the lake. There's a quick uh, layout what it looks like here. You come up to the top. I can get my character over there. What it looks like. Okay. On to the next one. Okay. There's the next one. It's literally right here. And luckily, it's on ground level. So, like, if you've been through uh, Gen Genesis and you're not, you know, you're familiar with it, a lot of cliffs, a lot of road bridges, split level. I think there's like three levels. This one. An upper level that leads to some caves and things like that. It's, it's, it's kind of confusing, but luckily it's on the ground level. It's pretty simple to get to here. Just see, there's that Dwemer bridge over there. It's a good landmark over there. It leads you to that thing over there. Let's get the rubbing here. Okay. One more take there. Like, literally, here's the road right here. See? It's that simple. So as soon as you get in that way, trying to follow this road all the way up and come up here. All right, on to the next. Okay, we're back here. This is it's right here. Literally, come to the camp way shrine and just go a little to your, a little to the west, and you're right there. See. Way shrine's over here. There's the way shrine. Let's follow a little path. It's over here to the right a little bit. Right here. Let's rub it. Take it. Here's the location again. Alright. Now the other ones are on the other side of the island, I believe, over here. The other, all the other rubbing. So um, 
I'll get to the next one, and I'll uh, be back. All right, here we're back with the next tomb here. Aranio tomb. Let's rub it. See what happens again. Here it is. It's a very simple spot. You'll come here to Tela Telberanio Way Shrine here, and it's right to the south. Again, overlooking the sea. Very pretty. You're gonna be buried. This is a nice place. Secluded. It'll be a peace. Not bad. Again, here's the map here. Alright. On to the next. Okay. Here's the next one. R Renelf. Let's rub it. I'm better at rubbing than pronouncing names. <laughs> Alright. Here it is right here. So basically, I did a straight shot right across the swamp there. This little island here. Next to the um, these ruins here. Dwemer ruins. Right over there. Okay. Alright. On to the next. Okay, we're here to the next one. Wrong button. It's literally north of this one. That last one we were at. If you're going by the road, it's basically off the main road to the back side of it here. Okay, but it's basically a due shot north from the last one we were at. And this one is Veles. Let's rub it and get out of here and get to the next one. Okay, we're at the next market tomb here. Pretty simple. It's right outside of Molagmar, and right from the right main road. Here's the main road going into Molagmar. Just go right, and it's right there. You can actually see it from the road. There's a guard there. There's a researcher here also. Bess. And there's the tower. You can see the caravan tower, but that's... Bam marker. Let's go right to the right here, off the road. That's the rubbing. Vario. Okay, we got that. Here it is again. Pretty simple. Alright. On to the next. I'll leave you to your work, Bess. I gotta go. Okay, we're back to the next tomb. Redis Ancestral Tomb. Rub it, take it, and here it is, south of Molagmar, directly south. This road here, just come all the way around here through here. There's some bad guys in there. You can also, if you want, come up along this road and come shoot, shoot your way down. Uh, but it's not too far, and it's pretty simple. There's a, a view of the uh, area here, some ruins over here. This is the best way through here and and catch it. There are some enemies around it, but they're no big deal. Alright. On to the next. Okay. We're at the Armenian Armin tomb. We're gonna rub it. Take it. Alright, take it to the Arnim tomb here. It's just kind of complicated, this one. It's, it's it's pretty tough. You can shoot across here, the swamps here, from the last one we are doing, over here by uh, Molagmar. There's no real easy one to get to. This is kind of the hardest one I felt to get to. Um, coming through here can be a nightmare. Really, it is not. It's, it's kind of hard to get through this one. Um, you could come up here and come around. This, well, this is the way I found it, coming through here, going around here. I was just exploring through here, and that's how I found it originally. 
Um, I have no clear, you know, good one to give you in this one. The direction. You can start from where the last one we're down here to shoot across the last tomb here and shoot across that way. Or you can get back on the road and come all the way up here and go around all these hills. There may be a way to cut through here, but I just gave up on it. So this is easier going around. Um, but yeah, this is this one here. Nareem. Okay, we're at this tomb here. Marin tomb. we to rub it real fast. Get the rubbing, or take the rubbing. And this one's pretty easy to get to. You start this way shrine here. And you just come follow this road all the way down this way. And it's up a little cliffside. It's right here exactly. So here's the road. You're coming from this way. Because the way, shri way, the way shrine's right here. Alright, so we're follow this. And right here by this little light post here. Come up here to the right. And here it is. Right here. That's it. Okay. Very simple, right? Alright. On to the next. Okay, we're here at the next rubbing here. And that's Ancestral Tomb. Let's take this. Collect it. Now, this one's not too hard. Again, I would start this way shrine. And if, before you get that one, if you want to get this one, you can. Come down the road here and just go right around this little mountain thing here. It's on the back end of this little ridge. It's a little... Not a mountain range, but a mountain right here. So you just come here and go this way around it. You'll get right back on the road again and come through here. You can also cut through here, but it's mountainous and, and pain the butt here. And, but don't worry, you won't actually come in contact with this boss. This boss is in a cave and you won't run into this one, so don't worry about it. The best way is go right through here, around here, around the mountain, and the coastline, and right in here. So it's nestled away a little perfectly right here. Pretty simple. Yep. Not much to think about. To the next one. Okay, we're back to the next tomb. It's literally off the main road. So hop on this way, way shrine here. Come down here, and it's literally right here. See? There's the road. Right here. There, that's the way from Ray Shrine. That's cutting down to there. It's literally on the road. Up on the cliff here. Let's get this. And, uh, get to the next one. This is one of those simple ones. I like simple ones. Some are hidden pretty well, some are simple. Alright, the next. Okay, we're back with the next one here. Serrano Ancestral Tomb. Again, pretty simple. Go north, follow this road to about here, and then cut up the... I'll show you right here. There's a little mountain pass. So here's the road here. Right, there's a the road. Nice one, come up here. And the tomb, we go up here in the back corner. Up alongside on the rock right here. And there it is. Torino Ancestral Tomb Black. Let's take the rubbing. Collect it. And we done this one. Simple one. Another one. Alright. On to the next. Alright. We're here to the next one here. Elenith. Ancestral tomb. We're gonna rub it. Collect its rubbings. And uh, this one is not too hard. Again, just follow the road up. And right around here, as soon as you pass this point of interest here, start cutting in. And oh, well, there are some bad guys here. Nothing that you can't handle, but there are some things that are in the pain in the butt here. I'll show you the road real fast. I think we're on the... Nope, we're past the road. Is this the road? 
Where am I going? I'm lost now. I got myself lost. Alright, right around here. Cut in. And go right up here. Again, it's on the side of a mountain here. Nice little scenic place. Right here. Get rid of that marker. Those markers do confuse me. That's why I don't like having them on. So I'm looking for something. Alright. On the next one. Alright. We're here at the next tomb. The Ven M Ancestral Placard. Okay. It's right here. The other one was down here. You can cut across here. There's a lot of bad guys, but it's this. Come up the hill. The hills are the road right up here. And it's right here off to the left. And let me see if I can get to the road there. Oh, I hate this when this happens. You get stuck on it. It's kind of worse. Where's the road? Here's the road. Is this the road? Nope, we're still off the road a little bit. Alright, here's the road. Right here. Okay. Let's go up the road here. Right through here. And it's right over here, the path. Right here. Let's make that cut in the road there. And you're right there. Let's see if I can find it again. Here's the other one right here. There's a few ways you can cut across and make them one easier here. This is the one I take. There's like a direct route right here. Like as soon as you get to this fence here and that light right across from this boss here. Why don't you get this cut right here? It's a good landmark. And you make it right to the tomb. Alright. Okay. On to the next. Okay. Here's the next one. Noreno. And it's right here. This one's a little more complicated. I have had a hard time trying to remember where I was when I found it the first time. Uh, it's kind of has to go straight. Like, it's weird, but I'll take the path I finally found it at. Here, I'll, I'll show you. It's up here by uh, Telemore. Alright. Here's the road for Telemore. There's the Way Shrine. Alright, so as soon as you get to the Way Shrine, just go left. Oh, I want the silk. Hold on one second. Let me collect this. Alright. So, come left as soon as you hit the Way Shrine. And so we're right through here. So there's a lot of bad guys running around. There's a lot of Nyx Hounds and all kinds of crap in here. Let's keep going this way. And you'll drop down. When you drop down, turn. There it is. It's a little more out of the way. Like if you're not exploring and you know, you're gonna miss it. It's not the hardest one, but one of the harder ones. Alright. Take a left from the Telemore Way Shrine, just keep going straight from there and just right around here. You'll come over this little cliff, you're like your horse will drive over and you'll fall off, like not fall off, but fall down. Right there, turn. And it's right there. That was pointing, see? I'm pointing right there. Okay. Alright, on to the next one. All right, here we're back. Fav, Favel, Antest ancestral tomb. I'm done saying the word rubbing. We're like 25 in, and I, I'm done. No more word rubbing words at all. Other than that, sounds like it rhymes with it. Nothing. This one's pretty simple. Start at this, the Valley of the Wind Way Shrine, and it's literally come right around the corner. Boop, just like this, right around. I'll show you. It's how fast? I'll show you. See. Here it is there. We're gonna just run around the corner. Halalu, friend. Oh, Haladu. Halalu, most Bad certainly. Bad and good fortune. What's happening here? What is this? I just got experience or something. Are you gonna... Are they gonna fight? Well, you know what? We'll leave them to their insanity. We're gonna... Here's a, oh, this bridge here, and boop, there it is, the way shrine. 
That simple. I'll run by again. Just in case you missed it. Oh, they're gone. Okay. Around the corner. That simple. That simple. Okay. Only a few left, and we're going to finish it off now. Alright? I'll see you soon. Okay, we're back here at uh, San Ron. San, San Ron? Yeah. Way Shrine. Uh, Way Shrine. Tomb. We're going to record it. Take it. I'm out of room on my banking sp my space there. Uh, this is pretty simple. It's right outside this city here. Uh, Sally with Mora. There's the Way Shrine. Literally ride right up this road outside of town. And it's even actually a little, see a little brown, that little brown color thing right there? That's the actual tomb. It's that simple. It's a very simplest one at all. A very, 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 very close and easy spot. Just in case though, I'll give you a quick thing here. There's the tomb. Get on your horse and literally ride this way. And you get right in the town here. And the way shrine is over here somewhere, right down there. Pretty simple. All right. Only a few more. Let's get moving. All right, we're back with the next one here. It's on the little island, away from the home you can buy. Right to the left of it. All right, it's the uh, Vernirum tomb. Okay, let's take it. Um, my best saying, there's no real clue. I mean, start from there, this way, Shrine, and it's literally beat feet down to the south. This one right here. There's no clear roads, no way shrines. Just start there and go south. This island right here, this little island. It's in the back end of the island here. See? Near the water. That's one hint for you. Most of these things are near water, or if it can overlook water, it's overlooking water, or other nice pieces of scenery. <clears throat> All right. On to the next. Okay, I believe this is the last one. We probably should have done it when we were doing these ones over here, but my the pictures I took when I was you know, tracking them all down, this was a little off the edge of my photo, so I kind of missed it. But uh, this is it here. Helvera, Helveru. My corrections, when we take this, we should have the achievement. Okay. Did we do something? Did we miss one? Did we miss one of these? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And we gave the one to the librarian away already. Hmm. Well, you know what? Let's go back to Vex City and uh, see what transpires there. All right. Let's see you guys in a little bit. All right, we're back at the library. Where's that librarian guy? Well done, Outlander. Well done. Okay. As you recover more rubbings, okay. return here to me. With every detail we add That's more why we didn't get it. The we get to That's why we didn't get it. Lost now we know. I prepared a list of tombs you need to find. Refer to the note as you conduct your search. Wonderful. I'll decipher its portion of the clues and finalize the associated section of the diorama at once. Oh, there we are. Ancestral Tomb Hunter. Okay. I don't sound... That's it. Okay. Ooh. What's this? Let's go check it out. Hmm. Nice. I'm probably ruining it walking all over it. All right, that's it. That's the achievement. Every single one, all 30 of them. And also there's a new mission here too, it looks like. Uh, but you know, we'll do another video on that one. It's been a long day. Um, I hope the video helps. I hope you get the achievement. 
and hope all else goes well. All right, but this is the end here, so you know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna take my leaf. I'm King AKJK from In Game We Trust. Until next time, take care.